Yeah. Well, Charles Felling was uh, one of the main people that wanted to put up historic markers, and he he sort of lobbied the neighborhood association for many years to try to get one of our pin grants to be about these neighborhood markers. And he'd had a set of things that he always remembered, and he really wanted to to mark. And he's very proud of his neighborhood, and um, he was just as sure there was as interesting of history as there were in, say, Brown Street or on Summit Street. Um, and with with the neighborhood survey for the houses and the history with that went with that. And then his information that really did look like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of interesting history. I think most any neighborhood could probably dig as deep and find something out. If you're in an older neighborhood, there's probably some history to it. And if nothing else, you have neighborhood grocery stores that used to be there. And I started shopping around in uh, the, the 80s and uh, I was, uh, I was drawn to this neighborhood because it's the kind of neighborhood that I like the best. It's got older houses. I like, I like older houses. I'm, I'm, you know, comparatively uh, comfortable with uh, fixing things and modifying things when I need to. And and they had, they had this neighborhood has a large number of of cottage sized homes that are not overly ostentatious or too much square footage for a single person and uh, I've got uh, a real fondness for uh, arts and crafts the design you know the, the craftsman style um, mm -hmm. of houses I'm very fond of I looked at 30 different houses in Iowa City before I sold them. one and all of them I think were probably older than 1930 I, I'm mm -hmm. sure of it I just, I, because I'm a museum person, I love history, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this has this town has a lot of history, and this neighborhood in particular. And when I found this place, it was it was a perfect little little house for me as far as size. It has a it has a very attractive design, and um, it, it it was uh, it was in a neighborhood that uh, just suited my needs perfectly. Very historic. I think m a lot of people uh, say, oh, you know, you live in Longfellow. Oh, my goodness, I've always, you know, loved that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a neighborhood that a lot of people would like to live in. And, and, and yet, to me, the thing I like about this is that it's it's not out of re it's not an out of reach place to live. I mean, there are a lot of modest family homes here. There are a lot of modest people here. There are a lot of uh, uh, young couples starting out. Lots of kids. There's a lot of older folks who still live here. I mean, I started out here as a re re reasonably young person, and now I'm sort of getting to be one of the old fogies on the street. Uh, but but uh, it's it's held a lot of it's uh, given a lot of pride to a lot of neighbors. Um, you know, oh, I live in Longfellow. You know. It's pretty nice. It's I don't mean stuck up. I just mean it's it's a it ha it hasn't gotten that far. You know, it hadn't gotten mm -hmm. it a lot of times. You know, a neighborhood becomes sort of a hip place to be, and the mm -hmm. prices go through the roof, and all that kind of stuff. This is just a good, solid little neighborhood, and you know I've lived in other neighborhoods in Iowa City, and they're they've got their own really great, you know, the near north side. I love it up that way. You know, I used to live over that way when I first moved here, and I feel an attachment to Goose Town and or the near north side, as people <laughs> call it. Uh, uh, there, but I'm chiefly attracted to 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 the history. 